It's kind of hard to do that. You have to remove. You have to do your cleaning first. That's natural. That's common sense. But sometimes you don't look so good. You go into a house and rip out the walls. They don't look so good right then. But then when you start putting in the new walls, they're like, oh, now it's looking good. So that's the sort of thing that we're up against and we have to deal with. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I've never done celery juice by itself. You know, I, I, I like celery, but I did beet juice. I did a three-day beet juice fast once, and whew, I don't recommend it. Uh, citron, citron. You know, you got some, some good things here, buddy. Uh, no cavities. This guy is good. Look at look at his diet here. He's good. He's uh, fruits and veggies. No cavities. Uh, he does good. The guy's done good for himself. Chill out. Yeah, I like you, J.G. Fergus. Is that how you pronounce your name there? Good guy here, man. Uh, frugivores, frugivores, frugivores. You know what? It, it, it's probably going to take a lot of generations to get man back to where he needs to be. And uh, the trouble is, if we're not careful, we're going to fill up the tropics because that's where we should be living. Uh, so I don't know. I just wish there was peace all around the world and uh, some of us could move into some of these beautiful places that have so much good fruit. Or we in this country said, look, we're going to build these massive greenhouses, which is a plan that some of us are having, where we start growing some tropical fruit here and we, we really kick it up another notch because really... Uh, Eating good makes you happy. Eating good, man, I bite into a good organic fruit. I got a smile on my face. When you bite into a bejeweled date, if you don't have a smile on your face, something's wrong. So that's the thing. You know, the animals are in ecstasy from eating the foods their body's designed to eat. And I remember as a fruititarian, I was in ecstasy all the time. I had this 96-year-old black woman from one of the islands, and I asked her, I said, Honey, you're 96 years old? And she said, I'm 96. I said, Well, my God, you look like you're 60. Skin's toned, tightened, you look so good. I said, Well, I'm curious, what were you raised on? She said, I was raised on exclusively fruit. I said, no. I said, did you guys have a garden? She said, because I was testing her. I knew at her age she had to be raised on fruit. And sure enough, she said, uh, we didn't have a garden when I was growing up. She said, but uh, I, we always ate fruit. We were very, very poor. And I said, what about meat? She said, my island didn't have meat when I was a young girl. She said, as we started getting meat brought onto the island, she said, you had to be rich to afford it. She said, why are you asking me this? And I said, because look how good you look. She said, you know that you're bringing that up. She said, I always was happy and felt so good as a kid. Here's a 96-year-old woman, full bed of teeth, body like to kill for, 96, raised on fruit. And I said, sweetheart, she'd been in this country for a while. She wasn't feeling good. And I said, I'm going to put you back on the diet you were raised on. She said, really? I would love that. So you see, you know, we have to realize we've had a lot of generations of decay of teeth and, and skeletal and, and parathyroids and, and, and limb stagnations. And we have to work back through that mess and, and, and lose some stuff and rebuild some stuff. I don't know what to say about it. We're, we're, we're in a, 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 a big uh, line of decay here. You know, I think it was Ted Turner and some scientists were thinking about this, and they said if the human race continued on its line of decay, that by 2025 there would be no more humans left on the planet. Well, what they forgot is they're your guys. There's you guys. There's you great moms and dads that are raising your children on raw. You're regenerating genetic memories and cells. You're rebuilding tissues. So they didn't take that into consideration, but in reality, if, in what they were saying, if no one ever cared about their health, that's what would happen. The humans are losing the battle big time, and you see it in the kids with serious trouble, like I said, in the children. Uh, Hyal hernia, hiatus hernia. Again, that swelling of the esophagus, and again, that's that same lymph, mucus, swelling, and that's what acids do. They swell, create mucus, so when you detoxify, you're going to get some mucus, can work up to the throat, <coughs> you're going to see that stuff working out of you, honey. Mucus in the stools, really start moving that lymph and working on that, and that herniated area will come in and, and become a good esophageal wall again. 
Tina, 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 Tina. Uh, yeah, you're right. I don't sleep, Tina. I tell you, uh, it's a, it's it's something else. I would like to rest sometimes, but I appreciate you all support me well. I appreciate that. I've had some great clients through the years. Uh, a lot of famous singers and stuff, a lot of musicians. I'm a musician, and um, I've just had a lot of good people. And it, it's just, and, 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 and just from every walk of life, every level, and, and you guys are all great. And, and that's what's important. I think this is a, a, a serious bonding needs to take place. So we're walking, bringing the light into the darkness. And no more the suffering and pain of these souls that are captured in these idiotic souls that like narcissistic control and stuff. They've got to, got to end that kind of thinking. Uh, pine needles. Oh, this was a, we asked about that reproductive stopper, pine needles. I might have to think about that. That might be interesting. I know they're very acidic, but uh, well, that might be interesting. I, I would love to have some natural birth control for people because women are getting beat up with all these uh, steroids they're taking, and it's like, no, nah, we can't keep hurting people, and a lot of women are dying on this one. It's like, oh, my God. We, we got we to gotta find a, a better way. And so, yeah, all this information is good. I'll definitely research their, uh, uh, my healthier me. <laughs> Good, I love that. You guys are great. You're so great. Uh, yeah, I'll be 12. Like I said, uh, I have. I have. Work on your adrenals and you'll see. People on raw food are never deficient of B12, especially when they get their adrenals and they're self-healthy. Like I said, I was sitting in Shania Twain's house, house in uh, Switzerland one day talking to the uh, president of the Gerber's Baby, uh, I, uh, not Gerber's, but, um, oh, uh, the largest baby food manufacturer, Nestle's uh, baby food section, on this discussion. So I've had discussions about B12 a lot. So get yourself healthy. Get the focus that way. If you want to take B12, I don't care. But get your adrenals healthy and you'll find you won't have that deficiency here. Uh, you don't see that deficiency in primates, nor you do in herbivores. And they're not meat eaters. So. Uh, you don't see any deficiencies in healthy people. Because utilization, conversion of chemistry, everything is all there. You know, the body converts a lot of chemistry that man is unaware of. Remember, we discussed biological transmutations. And back in the 1900s, I, I have this book here. It was a book written, Biological Transmutations. And it only made sense. And so now we still, you know, some scientists are coming along agreeing with biological transmutations. We know silica is converted to calcium. We, we know the liver is a major biological transmutation factory. So, you know what? It's all important and it's all unimportant. Because in reality, if you go back eating the foods your body's designed to eat, and if you want vegetables, okay, but if you're detoxifying your body, go deeper into the fruits, berries, and melons, and you'll find a much thorough detox. Adding the botanicals is God's sin, that's all I can say. And you've got it's just time, it's working through these problems. And, uh, you know, like this one guy said, chill out, relax, uh, uh, work through it. Uh, you've got us to help you, uh, and you'll be good. So listen, thank you again. I'm probably not going to, I think tomorrow they're going to shoot a video of our office and to show you kind of our workspace here so you'll, you'll understand who you're looking at and talking to. Kathy's going to do a little one here on the school, so it'll help you answer some questions. And then uh, uh, probably won't get back to you till next week on the questions. But uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, you guys. Great weekend. Great weekend. Thank you. Bye-bye now.